we will be talking about nasal septum first this is the basic anatomy and now i will be showing you the arterial supply of the nasal septum this artery is shown this is known as the anterior ethmoid artery These are the posterior ethmoidal arteries. This is known as the sphenopalatine artery. I shall be labeling it as this. Then we have the superior labial and the greater palatine artery. Here is the palate, so this will be the greater palatine artery. Let me label it first. Now, this is the superior labial and the greater palatine. Coming on to the most important part, the anterior inferior part of the vestibule of the septum, they anastomose. And they form the capillaries, which we are talking about arteries, we will give littles area. So whenever, this is the common site of bleeding from the nose or epitaxis. This area is known as littles area or Kisselbach's plexus. This was the arterial supply of the nasal septum. For a general review, the anterior superior part is supplied by the anterior and posterior ethmoidal arteries. The anterior inferior part is applied by the superior labial branch of facial artery. The posterior superior part, the posterior superior part is supplied by sphenopalatine artery, while the posterior inferior part is supplied by the branches of greater palatine artery.